So hello you guys and welcome back to Friday Chit Chat. Now I have big news this week, massive news, huge news, biggest news, wow. Last Friday night, um, something pretty massive happened and obviously, you know, it happened Friday night so it happened after I'd filmed the Friday Chit Chat for last week. Melissa McBride was following a few people and tweeting a few people and stuff and a lot of people on my timeline were freaking out and I was watching Land of the Dead and knitting. So I was kind of on Twitter at the same time, looking through tweets and seeing what was going on. You know, lurking like I do. I saw that she was trying with the fans and it, and it was a really sweet thing. And she's she always tries so hard with fans to reach out to them or whatever. So I put up a tweet saying, I really love that at McBride Melissa tries her best to follow fans, shows that she's an awesome lady. So after I posted that tweet, I went back to watching my movie in Knitting. And then I checked my phone, because my phone is always like next to me. And my notifications were just blowing the fuck up. Now I thought... Because when I get more than like 10 notifications at the top of my phone, instead of saying like you have 10 notifications, just a little Twitter symbol comes up. So I don't know, is it notifications or is it direct messages? So I presumed it was direct messages because I'm in a few, I'm in a few group chats and I thought, well, one of the group chats is obviously like woken up and they're talking. Or I went into Twitter on my phone and I discovered that it was my notifications. Now my phone then, I was getting too many notifications so my phone crashed, so then I went down to Twitter on my laptop and I saw that Melissa had followed me. Melissa McBride had followed me. Now I started freaking the fuck out. So I ran into my mum's room and I was like, Mum, Carol followed me. So I just sat on my mum's bed for a while and freaked out and my mum was like, relax a minute, don't tweet. Because I was so excited, I would have just tweeted like in all capital letters with like, freaking out gifts and shit. So I just relaxed a few minutes and I just savoured the moment that Melissa McBride had seen my Twitter account and followed me. And then about 10 or 15 minutes later, Melissa tweeted me. And she tweeted me one single word, the word reaction. And then a few emojis, or emojis, emoji, whatever the fuck you call them. One of them was a thumbs up, a smiley face, and then clapping hands. So I was like, I was in the middle of talking to my mom about her following me, like that Melissa followed me. And then my phone started going like boom, 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 boom. All these new tweets in. And I was trying to get my, my, my phone as well. It's on the way out. My phone is kind of fucked at the moment. So I was trying to get it to load. And I was like, what? What has happened? And then I saw the tweet and I, I showed it to my mom. And my mom was like, did she mean like reaction is in your channel? And I just kind of sat there for a few minutes like, what? But I was thinking, look, it's Melissa McBride, she's a very busy lady, you know, she's on the fucking walking dead. She's a busy woman, there's no way she's seen my channel. So I was like, no ma'am, that's not what she means. I thought she meant that she was waiting to see my reaction to her following me. So she was waiting to see me put up a bunch of embarrassing tweets and freak out. Or that her reaction to me putting up a nice tweet about her was her to follow me. So I tweeted her back and I was like, thank you very much. You know, like, cheers for the follow. I'm a normal person. I'm chill at the moment, thank you even though I was freaking out internally. And then I went back to my knitting, went back to watching my movie, and about half an hour or an hour later, I decided to check my Twitter again because I had answered everyone back. A lot of people were like congratulating me. So I answered pre pretty much everyone back and I went back to what I was doing beforehand. So I checked my phone then about half an hour later and my notifications had blown up again. There was like over 70 notifications. And that's very unlike me. Like, I don't really get notifications that often. So I was like, what? What happened? So. A lovely lady had tweeted Melissa and she had said something like oh you know you wait so long between tweets because you're waiting to see the fans freak out and react to you tweeting them or whatever. Melissa McBride tweeted this woman back and said ha reaction have you seen Katie Shox's YouTube channel I'm a fan of the fans hashtag fun to watch hashtag tough cookie. You guys Melissa out of the blue out of nowhere tweeted that she had seen my fucking channel and she liked my channel. Now, I didn't tweet her. I didn't tweet her saying, hey, I have a channel. Hey, look at my channel. I make Walking Dead videos or reaction videos, whatever. Because I'm not like that. I don't really push my channel on Twitter. I mean, I put up a link to whatever new video I've posted. But on the day she tweeted me, like, I, I wasn't looking for her to fucking check out my channel or anything. I wasn't expecting it. I mean, my channel is for you guys, the fans of The Walking Dead. And for me, a fan of The Walking Dead, it's a place where we can talk openly about the show. We can discuss our opinions and our views. But you guys, Melissa McBride... She's seen the channel. She's seen the reactions. That has me mortified. It has me thinking, what? What reactions has she seen? Did she like them? Was I a moron in them? Probably was, let's be honest. But that one line, I'm a fan of the fans. You guys, 
she she's seen my channel like she just was fucking discussing it with this other girl on Twitter like that is the single most insane tweet that I have ever received in my life ever ever and then my mom then was boasting she was like I told you she meant reaction videos I told you she meant your channel and I was just sitting there like oh, oh fuck so you guys Miss McBride has seen my channel I don't know if she watches it or what the fuck she probably saw the reaction for the um, the season finale of season 6 because that is my most viewed video it has like over 70,000 views which is crazy but that's my most viewed video so that's probably the one she saw and if it is then Melissa I'm sorry you had to see that one that was an emotional time for everyone that reaction video oh my god in that reaction video I'm just like what the fuck why the fuck where the fuck is Dan what the fuck is going on I mean her following me and tweeting me was amazing but her saying that she's seen my fucking channel there are no words. And I just want to thank the two lads from Discuss the Dead because it's the two fellas from the channel Discuss the Dead that alerted me to the fact that she tweeted talking about my channel because, like I said, I was in the middle of watching a film or whatever and when I checked my notifications, there was one tweet from those two lads and they were saying, how does it feel that Melissa has seen your channel? How does it feel that she's followed you or whatever? And I was like, what? So that was the tweet that alerted me to the fact that Melissa has seen my channel and has watched my channel and... I'm fangirling so hard and I don't even care. It's been a week and I'm still fangirling. It's so weird to think that she's seen my face. But I just wanted to share that with you guys because I knew you guys would get excited for me, and you, you know, because you're very supportive and... And then a few people then were saying, oh, if that was Norman, you would have actually died. Norman actually did follow me. He followed me August of last year. He was promoting his new movie and he was doing like a tweet spree. And I managed to tweet him and he tweeted me and he followed me back and he's actually, he's answered a few direct messages that I've sent him. I'm not going to post them because they're private direct messages. But yeah, if I'd had a YouTube channel last year where Norman tweeted me, you guys probably would have just seen a video of me just screaming. Just screaming and then staring blankly into the camera and then screaming again. So another piece of news from this week is Norman Reedus and Jeffrey Dean Morgan have been announced for Walker Stalker London. These are two huge names. I can't believe that Walker Stalker managed to announce both of them in the space of a week. I was online when Norman was announced and then of course my phone started blowing up because everyone knows I love Norman. Like it's no fucking secret. I have the man's signature tattooed on my arm from last year's Walker Stalker. So I can't believe that he's going and I'm going to get to meet him again and it just makes me feel all happy and warm inside and Jeffrey Dean Morgan, who plays Negan, was also announced. Now I've loved Jeffrey Dean Morgan. I originally loved him because of Supernatural. He played John Winchester. And back then I developed a little bit of a crush on him. I thought he was a great actor. He's a very funny man, because I've watched a lot of interviews with him. So when he was announced for Negan, I was like, wait, where do I know him from? That's John Winchester. So Negan and Daryl are going to London. Yes. Now I know their cues are going to be mad and their photo op lines are going to be mad, but it's going to be so worth it. Another piece of news, I feel like a news commentator, I should have, you know those pieces of paper that like news commentators always like shuffle when they're given the news. I don't have pieces of paper, I have a phone, I have notes made on my phone. Because I'm technological and shit. Funko Pop um, made an announcement that they're bringing out um, some new Walking Dead pop figures. There's finally going to be a Negan pop figure, there's a new rocket launcher Daryl, there's a new Coral, a few others as well that's been announced but those are in my eyes the ones I'm most liked for, I have pre-ordered the Negan one because I need Negan in my life. You guys know I collect pop figures. I don't know if you can see because my camera always does this thing where it focuses and then defocuses. I've noticed that when I'm editing that like my background is all walking dead shit but you can very rarely see it because it's out of focus. I'm like, camera, what are you doing? But I collect pop figures and I have a good collection going so um, hopefully soon I'm going to have Negan to add to that lineup. Yeah, the roles have been reversed, Negan. Get in the lineup. And I just wanted to update you guys on my knitting. It's the weirdest fucking sentence I've said in a while. You guys all know that I'm knitting, because I'm cool like that. That makes me laugh. A lot of you guys leave really nice comments saying, oh, Katie, you're cool, or you're this, or you're that. And when, when I'm replying to your comments, I'm usually sitting in this chair, either like drawing, or like editing videos, or watching interviews with the Walking Dead cast, or more recently, knitting. So I get a comment from you guys giving me this really nice compliment and I'm there with knit needles in my hand like if only they could see me now. But this is what I've gotten done since last week. I showed you guys last week that 
I had a few little squares done and I have a blanket coming together. It's only three rows long at the moment but I have another row ready to stitch onto it so that should be really cool when it's done if I ever get it done because I've gotten distracted. You guys know I'm easily distracted. Yesterday then I had the brain wave to take a break from the blanket <clears throat> and start something else but I'm a very obsessive person which you guys already know. If I get into something or I like something or start something I become obsessed with it. It's like all I think about, so yesterday, I had a lovely day where I just relaxed in my room. I watched Gossip Girl all day long because that show has taken over my life again. I started watching it and I gave up around season 3 a few months ago. But yesterday I watched pretty much all of season 4 and it's gotten really good. But yesterday I knitted a scarf. Now this scarf is for my mum because my mum, these are my mother's colours. She loves navy, she loves kind of beigey colours. And this is like a really cool faded effect where it goes into both of those colours. Now it's not long enough, that's the only thing. Like you put it on and it's just, it's not long enough. Ooh, that looks bitchin'. Fancy. But it's not long enough, so I've decided I'm gonna stitch the ends of it together and make, you know those circular scarves that there's no like middle or end, it's just like, goes over your head like that? What are they called? There's definitely a name for them. Well, I'm gonna call them the neck circle, or the circle scarf. Or the neck brace. That's a thing already. Okay. But it's so soft. I wish you guys could feel it. It's the softest thing. And then the reason I put that in is because a lot of you guys have been asking me, how's it coming along, you know? And I received a lot of funny comments as well from you guys going, you should sell them or, you know, put them up online. I've been knitting a week. There's holes in everything I've knitted, lads. You wouldn't be able to wear any of them outside the house without being laughed at. And something else as well I wanted to mention is um, a friend of mine, David, told me about this interview where Greg Nicotero was talking about the Walking Dead premiere or finale and he was talking about deaths like with an S so like more than one now a lot of people have been saying oh he had slipped that there's deaths there's two people let's I don't agree with this because number one there's no like hard evidence that this interview happened and two it's Greg Nicotero Greg Nicotero is the most careful airtight person when it comes to the Walking Dead he has a brilliant mind and he knows the show better than, I would say, better than anyone. The episodes he directs, he plants these tiny little easter eggs that most people don't even pick up on. So I think that if the last person that would accidentally leak something would be Greg Nicotero. That's just my two cents on that matter. Let me know what you guys think. And also, David, I just want to mortify you a little bit. David is a really good friend of mine. He's a hilarious fella. But he has a YouTube channel where he makes like fan edits of shows and movies and clips and things and he's incredibly talented at what he does. His um, YouTube name is Dawn of the Walking Dead and his videos are incredible. They really are incredible and they're lovely to watch and they hit you right in the feels. So if you guys like fan edits or fan clips I'd suggest you checking out his channel. I'll link it below. And before I end this week's uh, Chit Chat Friday I just want to say happy birthday to my little brother. My little Sammy's birthday is tomorrow. He's one of my favourite humans on this planet. He's the most supportive little brother. Since he could walk or talk, he's just been the best brother that I, that I could have ever wished for, you know, and I, I feel blessed that I have a person like him in my life. So happy birthday, Sammy. I love you so much. I hope you have a brilliant day and you get everything you want. I think I covered everything. Oh yeah, um, I've decided as well that in every Friday Chit Chat, I'm going to leave a video because Shannon gave me the idea last week to ask questions. So I've decided every week, I'm going to leave one question for you guys. So this week, I want to ask you, have you ever been tweeted by somebody or if you have a social media account, have you ever gotten in contact with somebody that you look up to or that you love or that you have a crush on? Like an actor or an author, director, something, someone that just made your heart stop when you received that notification that they have tweeted you or anything like that. I'm still on a high from that Melissa thing. I just, I can't believe it. And I want to thank you guys for being so supportive of my channel and of me and of being so lovely to me. I know YouTube can be a... It can be a bitchy place and a lot of the comment sections can be really mean and really hurtful. And I'm a person that never understood that. Like, I don't understand why anybody would leave hateful comments. I don't understand how somebody could sit down and write a comment that's so mean, knowing that the person could see it. I've never understood that, but I've also never really had to deal with that on my channel. You guys are so full of love and support and positivity. And that's what I try and spread on this channel. You know. There's enough hatred and meanness in the world and a little bit of positivity and kindness is always nice. So I want to thank you guys for being so lovely and for spurring me on 
the reason I'm still here making videos is because of you guys. And now, Melissa McFucking Bride has seen my channel. She's seen one of my videos. A woman that I did a character development on that was like over half an hour long. She has seen my videos. Like, and like I said, that kind of has me a little bit worried and mortified. Because like, what did I say? Did I embarrass myself in the video she saw? Probably. And you guys are the best to interact with. You leave the most witty, smart, funny comments. You raise points about the show that I would have never picked up on, that I'm there going, fuck, that's a brilliant point. It's a place for all of us to just get together and talk about the show and whatever the fuck else we'd be talking about. But now, knowing that somebody from the show has seen one of my videos, it's, it's mad. It's, it's crazy. I never would have in my wildest dreams thought that. So I want to thank you guys for being here for me, for fucking congratulate me on every milestone I've hit so far or for every little thing that I've been excited about you guys have gotten excited about and been so lovely to me for I've said it so many times but I've made friends all over the world because of this channel people from places that I haven't even heard of before are like leaving comments and I'm just so pleased and happy and humbled and this is getting really deep really fast but and I'm rambling I know this video is just all me rambling but it's been a really good week it's been a really really fantastic week and now it's the weekend i hope you have an awesome weekend and i will be back on monday for my fear the walking dead reaction i'll talk to you all soon <laughs>